before we start the salon day. It's another Wednesday live streaming. We're gonna go through the consultation, um, things about a menu that can help your business. Also creating um, the perfect blow dry for the perfect texture of hair, because that's really the goal today is to go over hair texture and what's gonna give you the best result in the salon. So let's talk about the consultation. The consultation really for me um, is not so much about each question that you're asking. I mean, those things are important. That's something we can get into in a different day. But when you're thinking about hair texture and really what hair is all about, it's really breaking down the guest and understanding every little aspect of the guest's hair before we start touching it. Because at the end of the day, as a hairstylist being a professional, the way to be professional is to really understand hair to the fullest. So um, the first thing I like to look at is obviously um, we're gonna introduce ourselves, we're gonna talk to the guests and get their name. Then we're gonna look at the starting level of their hair. Let's say they're getting hair color. We definitely need to know where we're at if we want to get to where we're going. So we look at the starting level, we also look at the percentage of gray. Then we're gonna look at the hair density. Now, if you think about hair density, hair density is really just how thick the hair is. Um, and if you wanna say like how many hairs there are per square inch, however you wanna look at it. Um, but hair density is how thick the hair is. So if I have somebody with a really high density of hair, I'm obviously gonna cut her hair different than I would cut somebody with a low density of hair. So really just going through the questions and asking yourself, um, what, what type of density does this guest have? If they have a high density of hair, they have a lot of hair, and we're obviously gonna use more layering techniques, techniques that remove weight if they're looking to lose you know, the bulkiness of their hair and have a light, airy kind of flow to their hair. Then if they have a low density of hair, we're gonna cut it differently as well. We're not gonna do so many layers. So, you know, you really need to understand your guest density and what you're working with. Our ideal density is really looking at a medium density. And um, so we're gonna use products that are gonna help us get to that point. Um, then we look at hair texture. Now, some people look at hair texture and they think of, you know, is it wavy, curly, or straight? Hair texture is really the actual fabric of the hair. Is it fine, medium, or coarse? So if my guest has fine hair, I'm gonna use things that are gonna help try to bring it to that medium uh, uh, feel to, or texture to the hair. If they have really coarse hair, then I'm gonna use products that are gonna bring it down to the medium. So really I'm looking for that ideal thickness, I'm looking for the ideal texture, and just trying to get my guests to that place so that they have you know, more success with their hair at home. Um, then we look at the formation of her hair. Does she have straight hair, wavy hair, curly hair, uh, extra curly hair? Um, we need to know that because a lot of our guests nowadays, um, they're really good with the flat iron. This is like their fa favorite tool. They're at home frying their hair with it because they don't know how to use it right. But this is definitely their favorite tool. So if they come into the salon and we're doing a whole consultation with them about um, different haircuts, maybe we want to cut a fringe or a bang in their hair and they actually have super curly hair and we didn't know it, then we need to know um, through the consultation what type of hair that they really have. So we're going to look, do they have straight hair, wavy hair, curly hair, extra curly hair? Really that's only going to change the technique that we use. Um, doesn't mean that if they have curly hair we're not going to use a razor. Doesn't mean um, if they have curly hair, we're not gonna cut it dry. Um, you know, th there's a lot of different uh, rules that I think people build up in their mind. It's just understanding what type of hair they have before we get into the haircut. So now we're gonna look at porosity. The porosity of their hair is important to understand for two different reasons. Because your guest is coming into you in the salon to have better hair when they leave. So if they're looking to have better hair when they leave, we need to understand the quality of the hair when they walk in. So if they have a high porosity, which means that their hair is very dry, um, the cuticle is probably very raised. So we're gonna suggest things to them that are gonna help add moisture to their hair. Um, you know, and this is a great way to introduce different things during the consultation that you have to offer at the salon. Um, and we're gonna get into the menu in a couple minutes, but porosity, if you, if you help the guests understand what type of hair they have or what's wrong with their hair, they're gonna fix it. It's the same way if you go to a car mechanic and you're looking to get something done, you don't understand what's wrong, you just know it's not running right, and they tell you what's wrong and then you pay to get it fixed. When they come to us, we may see things wrong in their hair, but we're not coaching them on how they can be more, uh, have more success with it at home and how they can take care of their hair at home. So 
Going through the consultation, looking at porosity of hair, it's very, very important. You're going to be able to then upgrade in the salon, show them different services you have to offer that will add moisture to the hair. Maybe it's a, a semi-permanent color that adds protein. Uh, maybe it's get for that. And then we also look at, do they have medication on their hair? Because one of the reasons we, this is important, because a lot of women are on medication and medication leaves you know, through your nails and your hair. So it's gonna be sitting in your hair um, and it, as it comes out of your body. So um, there's certain chemicals like iron uh, or types of, it's not a chemical, but whatever. There's certain things that are gonna leave through your hair that um, they're gonna react to the chemicals that we're putting on your head. So just important to know, obviously we don't know what the medications are, what they're really made of, but we know that you're on a daily medication then we can take you back and do a really deep cleanse of your hair before we color it, and that's really the important thing. So that's something that we look at in our consultation before we touch our guests for the first time. Um, hopefully that will help you, um, you know, throughout your consultation, because I know a lot of people have issues with what to ask and, um, you know, where they go with the consultation. It's usually like, hi, how are you? What are you looking to get done? Okay, great. You go back, you mix it up, and you put it on their head. So really break down each little part of their hair and then keep a record of it and make sure that their hair is always getting better every single time they come into the salon so that you know that's a happy guest that's going to tell friends it's going to create referrals and create more success for you in your book so that's the first thing second thing is based on that um, going through each little thing in our consultation we have a, a menu at the salon um, this is our salon menu and the cool thing about this is you open it up it's very colorful um, it shows every service that we have to offer, including different treatments in our washroom. So if we're able to talk to you about your porosity, then we can show you the different things we have to offer that are going to better that. We have our color menu part. Um, we have our blowout part. We have different blow dries. They're going to help teach you how to be more successful at home with blow drying. Um, we have our wedding packages. We have our memberships, which is something we can get into in a different class. And then we have our men's menu. So, um, you know, this has really helped us a lot because it's a tool that allows people to know what you're doing in the salon. I think one of the big things when you walk into a hair salon is you don't know what they have to offer. There's never anything up on the wall that shows pricing, which, you know, sometimes that could be cheesy as well. It's not like we're a McDonald's. So just having a nice looking menu that you can present to the guest that shows all the different options that you have at the salon will help you upgrade them to things that are going to better their hair. So now let's talk about creating the ideal texture for a guest. The ideal texture is obviously medium. We talked about that. So what I want to do is put products in the guest hair. They're going to create that medium texture. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a little bit of a flat wrap. Um, and the reason I want to do this is because that's really going to lay down the cuticle. And I want to talk about a few key things with the blow dry. We won't go through this fully uh, in the blow dry because we're actually going to shoot blow drying videos this week for you guys. It'll be a little bit more professionally done. What this will do is I pull this blow dryer down, it's going to be loud. You're not really going to hear me talking anyways. So um, what I want to do is just go over a couple different techniques of blow drying um, and then that'll kind of end our, our uh, day today with our, our little lesson that we have. So a couple different things. You have your brush. I like to use a, a vent type brush, which is very airy, um, depending on the texture though. If, if they have a really coarse texture, I'm going to use something with a lot more bristles because that'll allow me to get more tension on the hair and smooth it out better. Um, but I do like the vent brush because of the fact that if I'm going to blow dry her hair, I want that air to flow through so it doesn't flatten it completely to her head. And I think that's the key to, um, to the flat wrap is really you are flattening the hair and wrapping it around the face and the, and the back of the head, really trying to create that beveled edge on the hair, but you're not trying to flatten the hair completely. So um, let's look at, we're gonna use our Freestyle System blow dryer. These are my good friends and um, really cool system because of the fact that it's gonna hang from the ceiling, the cord stays out of your way and you can just really work the blow dryer around the head. So um, what I wanna do here is as I, I wrap the hair around the head of the guest, what that's doing is beveling the hair around, creating that soft bend to it. 
What I want to make sure is the airflow from my blow dryer, from the nozzle of my blow dryer, this is an important piece to your blow dryer, uh, so hopefully you didn't throw it away, is work the hair around the head and keep that airflow moving just above the cuticle. So basically you should be able to leave this blow dryer just like this and work your way around the head, barely even moving the blow dryer, just everything is all on the brush. So working your way around the head. Then what I like to do, so I'll usually start around the temple area. I like to work in the front of the head first because obviously that's what they're going to see first. So work my way around. Then what I'm going to do is part it and drop some of this hair down. We'll tilt her head over. I'll comb some of it back and then I'm going to work in diagonal back sectioning and slide that blow dryer down. So I'm just going to leaf and work. And what the leafing is going to do is grab the hair, pull tension on it, and then also give a little bit of lift at the base. So that's really my goal there. So I'll work my way all the way around the head this way, all the way back, and then we'll work our way back around and through again. So it's just really a consistent motion and working our way. Then when I get to the fringe, especially with a mannequin, but you know, people have pretty bad calyx in the fringe area sometimes. So what I like to do is I like to work with a comb and work that comb back and forth. This will flatten the fringe a little bit more than a brush will, and it'll also help control the cuticle um, or control the base and the cowlick a lot better. So I work this back and forth. The key to blow drying and creating a dry preparation for let's say a haircut, which we'll get into a few weeks down the road, when we're prepping for dry haircutting, we don't want to have any kind of partings in the hair. We want the hair to be consistent all the way around the head, that's going to give you a more consistent haircut. So we'll work our way around, combing the hair, and just flattening the hair just on the top of the head with the comb. Obviously you want to be careful, you don't want to dig too much into their head, but this will really help flatten out any kind of cowlick, anything like that. So, um, blow dryer back up. So that's pretty much it for for the blow dry, let me just make sure there was no questions from you guys. So I think we're good. Um, I think I answered everything it looks like. Um, so basically, if you have any questions, please comment. We, we're always answering you guys back, um, making sure that we stay consistent with that. You guys focus on this week, my thing for you would be to really break down your guest's hair, understand it to the fullest, and also look at creating a menu um, with options from your hair analysis because each system has to work together. So the consultation has to work with the menu and then the menu has to work with the service. So really make sure that you put everything together, um, create this system and see how it works and comment, let us know how it's working for you. Love to hear it. Love to hear what you think about these live classes. Um, they're short and sweet. Next week we're gonna get into actually hair cutting. They'll be a little bit longer but hopefully you guys take a lot from this. And please check out our website, freesaloneducation.com.